Number 25, Andrew Jackson. When Andrew Jackson became the President of the United States in 1835, an unemployed house painter named Richard Lawrence approached him as he left a funeral service and attempted to kill him with several bystanders around. His attempt was brought by his delusion that the U.S. government owed him a lot of money and that the money that Jackson was keeping from him was the key to his dream of becoming King Richard III of England. Unfortunately for him, his gun misfired. Number 24, Ronald Reagan. As Reagan was about to leave the Hilton after delivering his presidential speech on March 30, 1981, a deranged man named John Hinckley fired six shots from a 22 caliber revolver at him, puncturing his lung. Hinckley was obsessed with actress Jodie Foster and believed that killing the president was the best way to impress her. Number 23, Adolf Hitler. At a conference at the Villa of Hitler on March 11, 1944, Cavalry Captain Eberhard von Breitenbuch attempted to kill Hitler as he concealed a small Browning pistol. The captain felt that the destruction of Germany was inevitable and that the German leader had to be stopped. As he entered the conference room to kill Hitler, Field Marshal Ernst Busch stopped him without suspecting anything, saying, Sorry, no adjutants beyond this point. Number 22, Vladimir Lenin. After delivering a speech on August 30, 1918, in a Moscow factory, Soviet leader Vladimir Lenin was shot three times by Social Revolutionary Party member Fania Kaplan. His shoulder and jaw were hit, but he survived the attack despite the serious wounds. The assassination attempt kindled a wave of reprisals by the Bolsheviks against the Social Revolutionaries. Number 21. Viktor Yushchenko Former Ukrainian Prime Minister Viktor Yushchenko was poisoned at a dinner sometime in September 2004, following his announcement of his bid to run against incumbent Viktor Yanukovych. He was flown to Vienna, Austria for treatment after he was diagnosed with acute pancreatitis. Following tests, it was concluded that his condition was brought by high concentrations of dioxin that were mixed in with his food in an attempt to kill him. Number 20. Pope John Paul II Pope John Paul II was about to give his speech at St. Peter's Square on May 13, 1981, when Turkish gunman Mehmet Ali Atga shot at him, claiming that the Pope was the ultimate symbol of capitalism. He fired the shots while the Pope was walking through the crowd. The Pope was rushed to Gemelli Hospital and fortunately survived. Number 19. Benazir Bhutto Islamic Nation Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto arrived in Karachi, Pakistan, to welcome a crowd on October 18, 2007, when two bombs went off at the airport after a couple suicide bombers hit her homecoming parade. Bhutto survived the attack, but 139 bystanders were killed. It was later revealed that Al-Qaeda was responsible for the bombing. Number 18. Theodore Roosevelt On October 14, 1912, Theodore Roosevelt was conducting a campaign in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and was about to deliver a speech when a mentally unstable man named John Schrank shot at him. He was hit in the chest, but the bullet fortunately missed his lung. After the shot, he continued to deliver his speech with blood seeping through his coat. Number 17. Tsar Nicholas II The first assassination attempt against Tsar Nicholas II happened in 1981 when he visited Japan with his cousin, Prince George of Greece and Denmark. At Lake Biwa, one of the native escorts accompanying them attacked them with a saber and struck Nicholas's head. The next attack, however, was blocked by the cane of Prince George. Number 16. John Fitzgerald Kennedy On December 11, 1960, retired postal worker Richard Paul Pavlik followed Kennedy in Palm Beach, Florida in an attempt to kill him by blowing up his limo with dynamite. His plan was to ram his car into the limo of JFK so the dynamite would kill them both. Fortunately, however, Kennedy left the house with his wife and baby. Feeling pity for JFK's family, Pavlik supposedly decided to do the assassination another day, but was arrested before he could carry it out. Number 15. King Louis XV. On a cold snowy night in January of 1757, Robert Francois Damien tried to kill King Louis XV by passing by his guards and approaching the king. He then stabbed him in the side using a small penknife. Fortunately, the blade was too small to kill the king who was wearing thick layers of clothing to protect his skin from frostbite. Number 14. Khaled Mashal. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu ordered two Israeli Mossad agents to kill Palestinian leader Khaled Mashal in July of 1997 as a counterattack to the Mahen Yehuda market bombings. Using their Canadian passports, the agents entered Jordan and waited for Mashal at his office. When Mashal arrived, one of the agents injected a toxin called the Lev of Fentanyl into his left ear. Unfortunately for the assailants, this was seen by Mashal's chauffeur and the two agents were caught. Michal was immediately given an antidote for the poison. 
Number 13, Fidel Castro. The CIA once planned to assassinate Fidel by taking advantage of his love for scuba diving. They planted colorfully painted mollusk shells that contained explosives in the ocean while the Cuban dictator was underwater. Apparently their plan didn't really work out. Number 12, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. While delivering a speech in Miami, Florida on February 15, 1933, a mentally unstable man named Giuseppe Sangara tried to shoot the U.S. president by climbing onto a folding chair so he could clearly see him. Following his first failed shot, the crowd basically beat him down. Number 11, William Seward. Lewis Powell tried to assassinate the U.S. Secretary of State by going into his room and killing him. At first, he planned to enter the secretary's home under the excuse that he was delivering medicine for the bedridden Seward. However, he ran into the eldest son of Seward, panicked, and tried to shoot him, but his gun misfired. Unfazed, he carried on his plan by trying to get into the room of the secretary after beating his son, stabbing his target many times on his face and neck. Seward survived, however, and Lewis was caught the next day. Number 10, Charles de Gaulle. OAS conspirators attempted to kill French President Charles de Gaulle by riddling his car with bullets while he and his family were traveling from LSE Palace to Orly Airport. De Gaulle survived the attack by ducking down and using the suspension system of his car, which accelerated out of a potentially fatal front wheel skid. Number 9, Alpha Conde. In 2011, some gunmen attempted to kill the president of New Guinea by surrounding his home overnight and pounding his bedroom with several rockets. Fortunately, the president was sleeping in a different room when the shooting erupted, saving him from the assassination. The targeted bedroom, which was not his, was ripped apart and one of his bodyguards was unfortunately killed. Number 8. Mohammad Reza Shah Pahlavi While he was attending a ceremony in commemoration of the founding of Tehran University, a man shot at him five times from a distance of 10 feet. The assassination attempt failed after only one shot hit the target's cheek. The attacker was a member of the two-day party and was immediately shot to death. Number 7. Richard Nixon In February of 1974, an unemployed salesman named Samuel Bick attempted to assassinate Richard Nixon by hijacking a commercial jet and flying it into the White House. He shot at a police officer at Baltimore Washington International Airport, barged into the Atlanta-bound Delta Airlines DC-9 and killed one of the two pilots on the plane. He then forced one of the passengers to fly the plane to the White House but before any of his orders were acted out, police officers had already surrounded the plane and tried shooting at him. He committed suicide before the police were able to storm the plane. Number 6. Ahmed Dogan In January 2013, an assassin tried to kill Bulgarian political leader Ahmed Dogan while he was delivering his speech at a party conference at the National Palace of Culture in Sofia. The gunman came up to the podium and directly extended his gun toward Dogan, but the gun jammed and failed to fire. Number 5. George W. Bush While he was delivering his speech at Tbilisi's Freedom Square in Georgia on May 10, 2005, an assassin attempted to kill U.S. President George W. Bush by throwing a live grenade. Although it fell only 30 yards from the president, the grenade didn't explode. Number 4. Bill Clinton U.S. President Bill Clinton was attending the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit in Manila in 1996 when some agents picked up radio chatter that involved the mention of some code words referring to a terrorist hit on the president's motorcade. One of the agents changed the route to protect the president. As the rest of the agents took the prescribed route, they found four explosives that would have detonated. Number 3. Gerald Ford. In 1975, Gerald Ford survived an attempt to kill him after a young female assailant named Lynette Fromm, Mr. Shot. Fromm approached Ford while he was walking near the California Capitol and immediately raised a 45 caliber gun toward him. But before she was able to fire, the Secret Service agents were able to stop her by wrestling her to the ground. Number 2. Pervez Musharraf In 2000, Pakistani politician Pervez Musharraf survived an assassination attempt by Kamran Atif, a member of Harkat ul Muhaddin al alami The assassin planted an explosive near a bridge in Rawalpindi, where Pervez was expected to pass. The attempt failed because when the bomb exploded, the heavily guarded convoy had already crossed the bridge. And number one, Benito Mussolini. After delivering his speech in Rome at the International Congress of Surgeons in April 1926, Benito walked to his car, passing by the mentally unstable Irish woman named Violet Gibson, who was getting ready to try and kill him. She raised her revolver and pointed it at the head of Mussolini, but as Mussolini turned to face the flag to sing the National Fascist Party's official hymn, her bullet only grazed his nose. 
If you liked the video you just saw, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by using the orange button in the top right. And don't forget to go check out our website at list25.com for more awesome lists.